In the fierce battlefield of artificial intelligence, Google has staged a stunning comeback, one that's shaken the entire tech world. Once mocked as a slow, sleepy giant overshadowed by the chat GPT mania, the company has roared back with force. The launch of Gemini 3 on November 19, 2025, became the turning point, sending Google's stock soaring 68% this year and silencing doubts about its future. This isn't just hype, it's a planned takeover, built on decades of hidden strengths in data, hardware, and world-class talent. Google's rise starts with its unbeatable toolkit. Gemini 3 isn't just another AI model, it's a powerful multimodal engine that excels at coding, video creation, and high-level reasoning. It tops benchmark after benchmark. And because it's baked directly into Search, Drive, Gmail, and YouTube, it turns everyday apps into active assistants. Ask your inbox for that email about the Paris trip, and instead of just showing results, it builds a full itinerary, complete with maps overlays and flight alerts, powered by Google's massive flow of user data. This sudden burst of innovation, once held back by regulatory worries, was unleashed the moment ChatGPT forced Google out of its shell. Add in Google's custom TPUs, now challenging NVIDIA's famous GPUs, and the company suddenly owns the full stack, algorithms, data, chips, and a global cloud giant in GCP. The impact on rivals is huge. OpenAI, once the hero of the AI wave, now faces its toughest challenge. Sam Altman praised Google publicly but behind the scenes, there's real pressure. Gemini's stronger performance per token and Google's ability to show ads in AI answers threaten OpenAI's subscription model. And Google's reach, touching 90% of the world's internet users, makes ChatGPT look small in comparison. Analysts whisper about a moat Altman can't cross, as Google turns AI from a fun tool into a built-in everyday service. OpenAI is scrambling to respond, leaning on partners like Apple, but rumors of talent poaching and compute shortages hint at deeper struggles. NVIDIA, long the untouchable GPU leader, feels the squeeze most sharply. Reports that Meta is considering billions in Google TPU purchases sent NVIDIA's stock tumbling 5% in a single day, erasing $250 billion in value. CEO Jensen Huang kept things friendly, but quickly downplayed TPUs as early-stage tech not ready for massive workloads. NVIDIA is fighting back with cheaper Blackwell chips and tighter ecosystem lock-ins, but Google's end-to-end -end control, from silicon to software, cuts into NVIDIA's dominance. As one analyst put it, the AI trade is splintering, and investors are no longer betting on NVIDIA alone. The reactions are loud and telling. Elon Musk congratulated Sundar Pichai, but with a jab. Salesforce's Mark Benioff simply said he was impressed despite years of AI hype cycles. As 2025 winds down, Google's AI rise isn't a moment, it's a message. With Waymo's Robotaxis, Vio's video engine, and Jules the coding assistant completing its lineup, Google is no longer just a search company. It's becoming an AI empire. Rivals are rushing, experts are stunned, and the warning is clear, ignore Google at your own risk. In this exponential race, the house is winning, and Google is stacking every card in its favor.